All right, so today we're going to take Ziggy out in the real world and compare how he acts in the park to here. The more you make him too free where he can sniff and this and meet people and do that, he starts bouncing off the walls because it's like everything's an opportunity. Let him have more freedom without going overboard because if here you start saying, no, sit, no, sit, then everything is like the world is evil, right? How much have you done with him outside, like taking for regular walks and stuff? Uh, almost every day. Oh, good. Sure. Okay. Okay. So there'll be more observation with him. I think Joey's had a harder time and hasn't been out as much, but let's, let's see how he acts and let's go. Okay. I'm going to just follow you. I'm just okay. going to watch for the first time. That was a good move. How are you? So one thing I always do too, Yossi, is when I'm walking past a restaurant or a cafe, I'm combing underneath the tables for a dog, yeah. right? Because I want to know if there's going to be another dog that's going to jump out and either bite my dog or my dog's going to go try to play with them or something. But I'm always watching under the tables to see if something's going to pop out. Good, good, good. So let him sniff this tree and see if he's got a potty. The one in front? Yeah, that one's fine. Hi. Um, because what I want to do is I want to control his urges to smell. So if I give him the opportunity, this you can smell. And I, I give him a minute. If he's going to pee, that's great. Um, now, if he doesn't pee on this, then he's got to focus on me the rest of the walk. Okay, there's a dog behind us. Perfect. Fine, he's more interested in the tree. Great. Good, that's perfect. Good, so now he's done his peeing, now the rest of it's gonna be a walk. Okay. Good. Okay, just go to the right here. And then have him sit. Before we cross. Okay. And give him a clear marker like, yes, you're free to go or let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's walk him past these boxes here, see what he does. Hey, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and hit that like button because you're going to see a lot more videos just like that here. Good. Yeah, good. Really good. Really good. Yeah. You'll see probably within a few days of doing this, he'll, his ears will come up. He'll be more confident. Right now, he's just in, I hate to say it, but it's fight or flight mode for him. You know, is, he gonna, is something going to hurt him out here? He's not sure. And the only way he's going to learn that it's not is through multiple experiences and exposure. Good. Okay, let's have him sit. Take a sit. Good. So really good, what you're doing is you're not going really hard on him. Like if he's getting up, he's a little nervous, don't go, no, sit. Don't, don't correct him, just guide him to the right behavior. Sure. If you start correcting him, then there's a conflict because he's very insecure here. He's never been to this place before. And remember, you're walking him in your neighborhood, right? So he's yeah. used to those smells, those oh, sights, those everything. sounds. He knows everything there. Yeah. He has no idea. So what you want to do with him in the next six months is expose him to as many different areas as you can. You know, these kind of environments, more urban environments, you know, more suburban environments, just to get him to, because he's, he's insecure. And you know what? Goofy was the exact same way. The exact same way in the beginning. And be careful with the prong collar because sometimes that's going to make it a negative experience. You might put him on a martingale for this. So, all right, let's cross over and let's, let's see. So let's just hang out here for a minute now and see what he sees and experiences and smells. Hey, Zig. And here to get him off of those things, you can always just call him back to you. The more you let him sniff, right? You, you want to give him this fine line between freedom and structure. 
the more you make him too free where he can sniff and this and meet people and do that, he starts bouncing off the walls because it's like everything's an opportunity. The more you try to be the dog Nazi and say, you're not allowed to see anybody, you're not allowed to smell anything, you know, that, that crushes him the other way. So it's this fine line. Where, where do you stop it and where do you start it? That's going to be your decision based on his personality. Like you see his ears are starting to come forward more, right? Yep. And that's a good sign. So sometimes this stillness of letting him feel that breeze, smell what's in the breeze, and just letting him figure this out, right? Letting him, he's coming around to the wrong side, it's all okay. But when a dog is nervous and new and inexperienced, let him have more freedom without going overboard. Because if here you start saying, no, sit, no, sit, then everything is like, oh, the world is evil, right? So now his ears are perfect. So he's, he's now in the same environment he was in before, where his ears were pinned back, and his ears are relaxing. So let's start walking him back to the car. So and again here, I'm always just watching, especially with a young dog or, or a reactive dog, like if I had a reactive dog too, I'd be watching. Is there anybody here who's gonna upset us? Is there anybody here who's gonna confuse him or anything like that? Good. And now his ears are teetering between back and kind of coming forward to examine everything because the leash is loose, he's relaxed, you're doing exactly what you should be doing. Perfect. So I don't know if you noticed that when he heard that sound then his ears came forward, right? He's like, oh, there's something there. Yeah. That was a really nice response to a loud truck. So good. All that is awesome. Good. Really good experience. By the way, if you want to see the rest of this video, check out my online training at robertcabral.com.